All right, YouTube Nation, today we're going to be breaking down how to read defensive coverages in Madden NFL 13, and uh, I'm pretty sure that this will transcend over to Madden NFL 25, as well as uh, NCAA 14, so let's get into it today. The first coverage we're going to take a look at reading today is the cover four coverage, and uh, it's one of the basic, one of the more basic coverages in the game. So what I would like to do for us is we we'll come out in a nice uh, formation that's going to give us a, a spread type of fill and also have that powerful aspect of it as a base formation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in the, um, what does this play? This is the X under of the Denver Broncos playbook. I think it's in the gun dice slot. It's not necessarily, you don't have to come out in this play to read defense. Uh, this is just to give us that kind of a look. So we're going to come out in the 3-4 and we're going to come out in the cover 4 defense and out of a cover 4 defense we're going to see how we can attack it. One of the things you see a lot of players will do, they will base align their coverages so that their blitzes, so that their um, their linebackers here will line up in these gaps. Okay, so one one tell that this is a cover four coverage, as you see on the uh, you see that there are two deep safeties, and uh, let me show you real quick. I'm gonna quickly audible into a two man under, and you see that the two deep safeties uh, are there, but as you saw there, the corners uh, actually pressed up in that situation, but in cover four you see that they're off coverage. They're playing an off coverage technique. So that they do not give up the deep, the deep bat, the deep passes. So uh, a lot of times in cover four, you're either going to see, you know, purple zones or four. You're either going to see either two purple zones or three yellow zones uh, out on the field, one or the other. A lot of times it doesn't really differ. So how we can attack cover four coverage is simply taking the underneath. So what I like to do when I'm trying to attack cover four coverage is run a uh, a concept where basically I run two drags that are in the middle of the field. And then I use this uh, streak route or fade route by Dreesen here to clear out the deeps, the deep zones, uh, to take the, the yellow zones or the hook zones with them so that I can clear out space to throw this route to Tammy. As you see in this play, the yellow zone follows Tammy, but not for long, and we can pass lead to the right to effectively beat cover for cover. One of the things also that we can do with this play is uh, we could even very easily uh, streak or curl uh, Jacob Tammy here to create a levels concept on the field. Levels is going to be zone, and you see the cover four is designed to not give up the deep ball, so we can easily throw that little uh, delayed in route. Another concept for beating zone coverage, uh, especially out of this uh, play here, is by putting Nosha Marino on a flat route or a swing to the right, uh, and then we can place Dr. Demarius Thomas here on a curl. And as you see, that purple zone is going to go to the curl, so we can easily just check down to the flat route and take the quick underneath five yards. One way that if you would like to uh, use to attack the deep seams, uh, the deep the deep routes in the cover four coverage, as we know the, the corners are in deep blue zones. And what this means is we can basically attack the middle seams and then put two fades on the outside. So we're sending four guys deep against four coverage. And what you're going to see here is with a pass lead to the inside on these streaks, it's going to split the safeties uh, basically right down the middle. So we can use that as well. Uh, but I would focus mainly to get uh, in this video guys today on you know using like a levels type of a concept on the back side here and uh, just pass leading those zones uh, splitting the two yellow zones is uh, what I like to do another thing that you can very easily do is, is run audible to your run set uh, or your running play because a lot of the they're dropping a lot of guys into coverage uh, this is where halfback draws become effective uh, stuff like that you see we have a halfback draw on our audibles and uh, it's for something like this situation here where they're dropping you know seven or eight in coverage and we can just easily check down to a halfback draw Okay guys, the next coverage we're going to take a look at today is the two-man under. As you see out of the two-man under, you still get that too high safety look. Uh, but you see we get the, uh, the, the the corners are pressed up at the line of scrimmage. So uh, one, one way we can beat two-man under very easily this year is if you have a play where there's a fade route on it, you see that this is going to be unbumpable. And by that being unbumpable, we can pass through that to the inside and very easily just uh, click on and make a user catch. Now some of you guys are uh, you know new players or don't have enough time to devote to the game to, to have a really good user catch game or you just don't want to so we can use other routes to beat man. Uh, one route that comes to mind is a curl route and all we have to do with this is wait for our receiver to cut back to the back side here and we have no, we don't have, you don't have to click on, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to pass lead it a certain way uh, all you have to do is throw the route, and you see curls will beat the man coverage. Uh, a lot of times, though, one thing that I would note is you want to throw it uh, as soon as he cuts back, because if you throw a late curl, uh, it seems like the corners will come back and play a little better this year than it was last year. 
So make sure you have your timing done in your curl routes. Again, throw it at the numbers, and uh, you see right there, that's what you want to get. Another route that can beat man coverage out of the two men under is you see this um, this out route to Jacob Tammy. Now, one of the things that's going to occur if it is a two man under is you can see we're going to get that outside position in the slot. Uh, whoever guards Tammy in this situation is going to is going to be outside of him. So we're just going to use that matchup one on one and throw a quick out route to Jacob Tammy out of this play. So now that we know how to read whether it's two man under or cover four, let's go ahead and take a look at cover three. So cover three, you see, if you take a look here, after we baseline this, uh, you're going to get this off coverage technique. And this looks very similar to a cover four. Now, one thing you're going to notice, though, is normally in most cover threes, your safety that's playing the flats is going to come down into the, into the box like this. And then your safety playing the deep, the deep middle zone, a lot of times will roll into over the center. So essentially, this is what you will be looking at pre-snap. Either one of the one of the two safeties will, will move. It's just I unfortunately baseline and press. We're going to talk about that a little later in the day's video. Now, cover three. Basically, what you could do to beat cover three again, you want to take that underneath stuff. Uh, the, those quick drags underneath are so so critical to beating the cover three zone this year. Uh, here, we're going to take a look again at a cover three, and we're going to try to actually get the computer to. And there, you see, that's what I was talking about. You see how he, you see how he rolls to the middle. Troy Polamalu is disguising his coverage. Uh, with his awareness and with his uh, overall rating is what helps him disguise coverages. But you see how Taylor rolled to the middle? This is a tell that it's either cover three or cover zero. And so what you want to do is you want to set up route combinations that beat both cover three or cover zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up Demarius Thomas on a 10-yard out route. And then again, we're going to swing Noshaw Marino out of the backfield to the right side of the field. And you see what this is going to do a pretty nice job of beating the cover three zone. Basically, we're going to use our, our swing route to the right to hold any flat zone of, uh, threat of Troy Palomalu out of the question. And then another read we could check down to, say the user control that, we have our nice little inverted drag route and low, uh, out route on the left side of the field we can always go to. So that's how you read if it's cover three coverage. You basically just check out on the safeties. Now we started to get into the confusing stuff. Let's take a look at cover two coverage. Now, cover two coverage uh, is basically have two flats on the outside and, and then two deep and then three yellows. So, a good play for beating uh, cover two coverage is sending three verticals. But the problem with this is it looks very similar to two men under. But let me take a look. At, let me let me have you guys take a look here at a, a very slight difference between the two men under and the cover two. Now, if you take a look at the corners on the outside here, you see that they're inside the receivers a little bit. But when we go to me and coverage, you see they immediately line up over them. This is so that they get that press animation. And you see here we're going to audible again, cover two, and you see they're more inside. So that subtle difference, that subtle tell, uh, is very essential for reading the coverages this year. And so all we're going to do is we're going to swing no shot out of the backfield to hold the flat route so that if they're in a cover two coverage, as they are, we can throw that fade to the outside and uh, really dot them up for a, a big game. Now, now that you've seen the cover two coverage, let's take a look at the cover two sink coverage. Now this is a coverage that looks very, very similar to cover two. Uh, as you see, the safeties are deep, and they're also there's. But you see in the uh, original cover two sink, you see how they're lined up almost pound for pound over them. And then we audible to cover two here, or excuse me, we audible to uh, three four version of the same play. And you see, when they're in flat zones, they invert. But if we go to a cover two sink, you see they flatten out, and then they do the same thing, but even more exotic in a man coverage. You know, reading that left corner, uh, his depth, as you see at about, uh, when he's right over, he's a man about a step or two into the inside, he's in zone, and it's like cover two sink type of zone. And then if we go to put him in a flat zone, excuse me, uh, if we go to a cover two out of just a standard uh, cover two buck type of look you're going to see they go to the uh, really really exotically inside so that's a very subtle difference but it's a very easy tell uh, for for us as a, as a defense here now one way to beat cover two sink this year is my, in my opinion is to send three verticals with the route underneath to hold the yellow zones underneath so what you see here is we have three verticals and what we're going to do is we're going to pass lead uh, Jacob Tammy to the inside. There, Peyton Manning actually passed on him to the outside. But when we show you here, one effective way to beat the cover to sink coverage 
is by setting three verticals against essentially two deep yellows or two deep deep blue zones. And what you're going to see here is if you pass lead that fade to the inside or even Jacob Tammy's route, you're going to split the two safeties uh, and essentially create a, a, a three verticals concept with three verticals attacking two deep blue zones. The spacing on the field is going to allow for this to work. And uh, once again, uh, that's how you would beat the cover two seam coverage. Now, one thing we uh, some stuff to take away before we go into the next segment here, or actually, I need to show you cover zero blitzes. So essentially, if they run something like this uh, OLB dogs fire here, and they base align their coverage, what you're going to see is uh, you're going to see this off coverage in the back here. Now, one of the things that's usually a tell is this safety will usually come down, and this safety will usually roll. Uh, or, or it could look something like this, where the safety rolls, and the safety rolls to the middle. But when the, when you see the if they if they're both off, and you know usually you'll, you're thinking cover four, but in this situation it's cover zero. Like I said, you know some of the concepts to beat cover four will also beat cover zero. Essentially, you're going to snap, throw this wrap to Decker. And uh, against man coverage, you're going to look at that. So that's like your first read anyways on this play. And then progressing the progression to Tammy. Let's take a look here at uh, a baseline play, and then we're going to re-audible into the pinch. And let me go to the actual pinch play. Let me see if I can get to it here. You see, this is example one. You see how they roll? See how these safeties roll down? That's your tell that they're a blitz. Okay? So what you're going to see here is I get the ball, I have to get the ball out quick. Wow, what a play by Casey Hampton there. Uh, but that's where you want to set up a blitz meter. Okay? Now, uh, in review of these tactics, guys, basically what you're mainly paying attention to is your defensive backs, uh, whether they base align or not. If they base align, you know, see how they come into the inside here. So you already know that if they're base align or not. A lot of times they will base align in zone, and they will not base align in man. So if they're in a man coverage, you're going to see, you see how they come out. But if they base align it, excuse me, uh, if they base align and go to zone, so like a cover three, you see how the corners come in a little bit. Uh, that's a subtle difference, but it's a it serves as a tell to our to our defense here. So, uh, you know, in review, guys, pay attention to the corners uh, where their depth is. Also, pay attention to the single high or double high safeties, and make sure to set up your reads, set up your passing plays so that it can be both, um, you know, both. Any coverage that they throw at you, whether it be two men under, whether it be cover two sink, but uh, also you want to have kind of a primary read based off of the type of coverage you read pre-snap. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video and hope it helps. Uh, in review, guys, like I said, I want to take a, t a couple moments here to talk about the YouTube channel as a whole uh, before I cut this video off. Like I said, guys, uh, you know the, this is the basics to reading the coverage. We're actually going to get into another uh, an advanced tutorial. Uh, about reading coverages in the next video. We're actually going to hopefully use NCAA 14, the full game, to break that down for you guys. It's going to be a couple weeks, but uh, this is something to get you started. It's something to close out the year in Madden and start to something to build upon for NCAA. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, you know, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like a free ebook. Uh, I'm releasing my free NCAA 14 offense and defensive ebook to to my subscribers one day early. Uh, just because it's a, a chance for me to give back to my subscribers. I'm also going to be doing the same thing for Madden NFL 25. So if you guys are interested in that, you need to um, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel and automatically send it to your to your uh, YouTube account. Uh, lastly, guys, make sure to, you know, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me, helps me grow. And uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is my blog has been a little bit inactive uh, for a couple of months, or actually just a month, a month about a month and a half if that and uh, I want you guys to know that I've opened it back up and uh, I plan on posting at least daily if not two to three times a day uh, in my vlog so hopefully you guys will enjoy that content uh, just another way for me to communicate with you guys so a link to my blog will be on the an an be in an annotation on the screen as well as some links to some other videos I think you guys may like also be sure to check out the description for uh, basically all of this written down so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next time